Are you struggling when it comes to vocal mixing? Turning the knobs but just doesn't sound well in the context? You tried everything but either too sharp or too dark? Is this you? Then don't go anywhere because I'm here to solve all your problems. So here is the formula. You have your vocal recorded, you add your vocal chain and blend it with the mix. Sounds easy, isn't it? I guess you knew that, right? So what do we need on that vocal chain to sound professional and why professional songs are so cohesive? When you listen to your favorite songs, all vocals just sound so smooth and blended with the mix. And you are probably wondering, is it because they are mixing in the studio using those analog gears and those high-tech systems? It's true, you can have a good record in a high-end studio and you really can achieve a great tone with expensive plugins. But just because you have all this stuff, you won't have the results you desire. I mixed songs in a bedroom, no acoustic treatment, and mainly the recordings I receive from clients recorded at home with cheap microphones. And we can achieve pretty great results. And as much as I love analog, I don't have any of that stuff. So common mistakes I see when something is off, new engineers tend to go to the EQ and start to cut or boost and mess with the fader and try to compensate with reverb. And they just lose the perception and it actually sounds worse than before. And I understand because I've been there, but everything changed when I learned how to do this one thing properly. And you are probably here because you don't know how to use this key element. And it's called compression. There are loads of misinformation on the internet, but don't worry because I'm gonna share with you my approach. And I guarantee after you watch this video, you will have more controlled and smoother walkers without doing any crazy stuff. So make sure you watch carefully fully to the end to understand fully the concept. So let's pull up a compressor and it doesn't matter what compressor you use and one thing to note here if you have a bad recording no compressor can save that. I'm just gonna use the stock I find this plugin very handy and useful especially when I work on a large project there is no latency and actually compression is the first thing I like to do on my vocal chain just to gain a little control over the vocals before I do any EQ or anything. So to compress your vocals or do anything else you need to make sure there is a good amount of headroom. Let's listen to the source first. I turn the compressor off. Okay, we could hear it's a very dynamic performance and we definitely need some sort of control over those dynamics. First thing is very important, if you have an auto gain button on your compressor, make sure you turn that off. And one of the key elements here, when I compress vocals, I always do the compression in the context of the mix. So I never solo the channel at this point. And don't worry, you don't have to have hypersonic ears. And what we need to focus on is to get some sort of consistency between the dynamics Dynamics, to make sure the louder parts are not too loud and the lower parts to be heard clean as well. So let's activate the compressor by lowering the threshold and setting a higher ratio and I'm gonna compensate it with the makeup gain. Okay, we have some sort of compression going on, so now we're gonna set the reaction time of the compressor with the attack and the release knobs. In the nutshell, with the attack knob you set how quickly the compressor reacts to the signal and with the release how long time it takes to release the signal. Let's do it quickly and we further adjust the makeup game. So let's do an AB quickly. You could 
could see on the meter there's a heavy compression going on and we adjusted a lot of makeup gain but it doesn't matter because we have a clean and good signal and the critics say it sounds better because it's louder if you compress it well you can push it louder than the original signal at the end of the day you want to have a consistent loud song so don't be afraid to make these decisions and don't get scared if you have 10 db gain reduction but it also doesn't mean that you just want to compress everything we mainly targeting the peaks and to bring the performance together so let's check this on the graph you could see on these areas the compressor didn't compress because those words don't need compression so once we arrive to this point on our mix our job is getting much easier but we still have a lot to do and the next step is very important for pro vocals so if you want to know that then make sure you watch this video next where i go through with you on how to eq vocals like a pro see you there